the secret of agelessness when, many years ago, I came upon a quotation from a man I much admire. Let me share it with you. All men dream, but not equally, he said. Those who dream by night in the dusty recesses of their mind wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. The quotation comes from T. E. Lawrence, Lawrence of Arabia. I adore it. It transformed my own vision of aging. It reminded me of the imaginative power that each one of us has to create our unique path. It taught me that there is no need to fear growing older. Each one of us can live a rich, fulfilling life at any age. Yet too few of us make use of our powerful abilities to envision and then bring into being what we long for. If, like me, you would prefer to die young late in life, there are two things for you to do. First, get savvy about how to care for yourself naturally. Second, start to practice Lawrence of Arabia's dictate. Decide to become a dreamer of the day and then act with open eyes to make it possible. The growing understanding of natural medicine, together with reputable research into high-tech biochemistry, has made this transformation possible. Once little more than a pipe dream, agelessness is beginning to become a reality. Savvy gerontologists have challenged the assumed maximum lifespans of human beings. They show us that people in the know can make intelligent use of antioxidant nutrients, electromagnetic treatments, and a myriad of other safe, natural anti-aging tools, including an organic, high-raw diet to prevent physical degeneration and restore a healthy balance to their bodies and their lives. And guess what? It's never too late to begin. Instead of prescribing dangerous drugs, this new wave of visionary scientists and practitioners show that the foods we eat exert a powerful effect on the control centers in our brain. Now, these powerful loci direct metabolic processes on which your health depends, from hormonal behavior and weight and appetite to emotional and mental states, even, believe it or not, the way we perceive the nature of reality. You see, what few people yet know, and what I've been studying and teaching for decades, is that these control centers in the brain are also filters through which we experience profound spiritual growth. Choose to live on a diet of convenience foods, sugars, and carbohydrates, as more than 90% of people now do, and your brain's control centers become crippled. You begin to age rapidly. Then, should you be urged to buy into relying on pharmaceutical drugs, eventually your body becomes poisoned by them. Become aware of this. Fresh foods grown on healthy soils and top quality nutrients never poison the body's crucial enzymes, nor do they block vital cell receptors on which your health depends. But... Taking drugs long-term does bring about not only ill health and rapid aging, but unbalanced emotions, mental fog, and a strange, strong sense that in ways you can't even articulate, you lose trust and confidence with yourself, although you may not even know how this has come about. Changing the way you eat and care for your body can begin within, within a few weeks, not only to transform your health, it can expand your consciousness and, and help you change your life for the better on virtually every level. So forget your chronological age. It is a very limited indication of your biological and functional age. These two are the measurements that really matter. You see, older people are capable of far more than society would have us believe. At any age, people can learn how to live by the principles of natural well-being and become highly resistant to the ravages of degeneration and chronic illness. They come to know their bodies. They face each morning in fresh anticipation about what the day can bring, the way they did when they were a child. They've learned to dismiss the negative brainwashing that's continually bombarding us from mainstream media, the medical profession, and government directives. 
They know, for instance, that as Dr. George Mann says, and I think this is a rather good quote, the diet heart hypothesis, which suggests that high intake of saturated fat and cholesterol causes heart disease, has been repeatedly shown to be wrong. The public is being deceived by the greatest health scam of the century. End of quote. They refuse to allow themselves to be deceived any longer. Savvy, independent people have every right to boast of their increased longevity and high resistance to degeneration. They've earned it. These people seek truths and continue to uncover them. They choose to shun unnecessary drugs, to banish convenience foods, to make at least 50 to 75 percent of the foods that they eat organic. They reject negative beliefs about growing older. They become not old, but ageless. Agelessness makes available to you a steady maturing wisdom, which is one of the greatest blessings as the years go by. You become someone whose experience and awareness has not been distorted by an ill-functioning mind or waning vitality. Our sense of time expands. It helps us come alive to the present moment. And in a powerful, real, and positive way, this draws us towards our future. And when we're able to project ourselves into that future, the future becomes not an abstract consideration, but an experience of great rewards. After all, the future of the planet is our future. We are responsible for it. If we wish, we can start to see ourselves as caretakers of the earth instead of tenants in a rented property. At last, freedom from mental and physical degeneration, which agelessness brings, is no longer an empty dream. It's happening to many who are awakening right now. I mean, who cares if at the age of 85 you are still capable of running a marathon, or if you look 20 years younger or older than you are chronologically, such things matter little by themselves. But high-level health mental clarity, and well-being, which are the rewards of agelessness, no matter how old you are, they are of real concern to all of us as residents on the earth. They form the foundation on which we human beings can build if we are to make use of our creative potentials. In the full use of such creativity lies the future of ourselves, our children, and our planet. Okay, so have I become one of Lawrence's dreamers of the day? I certainly have. It's dreams that create the true mythologies by which we live our lives. I believe each and every one of us urgently needs solid dreams to give our lives direction. Dreams which, tempered by the wisdom of age, are large enough and rich enough to carry us forward. Such dreams not only have power, They can help us bring forth exciting new realities.